What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is John. Um, I'm a car photographer based out of Columbus, Ohio. I do a ton of rideshare videos. Um, right now I'm actually doing DoorDash photography. And with DoorDash photography, it's actually booked through a company called Snapper, which is on demand. And what you do is you order um, through the app or you pick up if they haven't already created a website or don't have a popular item. But right now I'm in downtown Columbus, Ohio, going right there to 150 East. Uh, Spring Gay Street uh, going to Buckeye Deli about to pick up an order that I'm gonna take some shots with and I'm gonna show you how those shots work out and kind of the, some of the requirements that they have um, to get the shots down on there so we're gonna pick up this food right now and make the magic happen let's go So there's definitely some similarities between being a DoorDash photographer and being a DoorDasher. I've never done DoorDash, um, but the food's typically not ready, or it might be ready when you pick it up and you might be in and out real fast. Uh, but DoorDash for this contract, they do pay $10 per delivery. So if you're able to bang out 10 or 15 stops in one day, you're gonna make 100 to 150 bucks just on driving. A lot of these restaurants are really close to each other. Um, I'm actually walking to the restaurants that I'm at right now. Some are open during the day, some aren't open during the day, some are open on the weekend only. Um, then you really get to check out really cool places in your town, like where I'm at right now, which is a complete random alley I've never, ever, ever seen. Um, but you know, it's 10 bucks for each stop. And then for each restaurant, you do order two menu items. And with those two menu items, you pick the most popular ones and it's up to you on what you think is going to look good and look good replated and what you want to eat. <laughs> so um, for, for each of those restaurants, it's $55. So if you're able to get 10, 12, 15, 20 restaurants, you can definitely do some good money on there. What you're not supposed to do is tell the restaurants that you are a photographer with DoorDash. I do when I go into the restaurants for the ones that don't have a popular menu item list or the ones that are not accepting orders. I do at least tell them, I'm looking for two of your most popular items that I want to try out and then take home and just kind of make it clear that you're going to replate it on there so that it's going to be presentable. All right, so we're back in the studio. Behind me, I've got the strobe light getting ready to do some shots for you. I personally shoot with the Sony a7R2. Um, I've got the 24 through 240 on there. That's really one of my favorite lenses and I use it on a ton of different things. Car photography being the number one, but now food. And I've got the food behind me, which is how we're gonna make the magic happen. Um, I'm using this lens because DoorDash does have very specific requirements for making these shots happen. Certain focal points, certain ISO, and certain angles that they wanna get along with how to design it and how much blank space there needs to be. So that's my primary light that I use to light these shots. Um, and then I'm gonna replate the food I have over here and put it on the table. And honestly, put it on the floor too because it really does look good. Let's check it out. So a lot of this food photography is just positioning it, <clears throat> making it look good. I'm still 100% a beginner, so don't think I'm a pro by any means when I do this, but it's something that's out of my comfort zone to learn. So one of the big things I think you could really change with DoorDash snapper photography is by having the restaurant owners on board so that they know we're going to be coming, but let's take photos at the actual restaurant so that we can have the best food, the best design of the whole restaurant. So when that picture is clicked, um, that, that restaurant, when they're having people order on DoorDash, they can actually feel like, wow, that's the restaurant I'm going to be at and be ordering from or picking up. So it just feels like it's all one and DoorDash is just that intermediary to get the food to them. I think that'd be a huge game changer on there. 
and um, you know having all-inclusive shoots that are actually going to be at that restaurant so that more menu items get on there instead of just two menu items um, and I think it should be more of a partnership with the photographer and the restaurant and it's great that Snapper and DoorDash are involved in there kind of orchestrating everything but I think more of a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship is going to take you to that next level so that I exceed Snapper, DoorDash and the restaurants exceed even more. <laughs>